Now, we have seen also the issue of state police, for instance, where the Constitution is saying that the matters of policing is within the exclusive preserve of the federal government. But today, as I'm talking to you, Nigerians are aware, and I've seen it clearly, that several crises had erupted in, at least as I'm talking to you now, 26 states of the Federation, that had overwhelmed Nigerian police. Nigerian police could not contain those crises. And so the military had to be deployed to come and support them. And so more than ever, we are now saying that the need had arisen for state police to be allowed. So that if there were state police, the state police will primarily handle these issues, this crisis, this concern that have generated, that were generated in their states. And then if for whatever reason they need support, then the federal police will now come in and then bridge the gap and then support what they are doing as it were. But it's unfortunate that the military have been deployed all over Nigerian streets and roads. And you begin to see at all points as you move on, I mean, Nigerian armed, members of Nigerian armed forces everywhere. But at the end of the day, the security is not there. The security is still a mirage as far as Nigerians are concerned because Nigerians are more vulnerable. So these are the issues which I had said that if the recommendations of the 2014 CONFAB had been looked into by this government, and that those key recommendations have also been, been implemented, that most of these issues will have been resolved and resolved for once. And that is why today still the agitation for self-determination in some places is on, the agitation for resource control, state police, true federalism are still on. And so for me, as a lawyer, what will I do when I get there? Laws, including the Constitution, are meant to guide and then enhance the lives of people in the country and not to tie them up. And so I will use my skills to ensure that every single legislation in Nigeria, including the Nigerian Constitution, that will serve as a clock on the progress of Nigeria, that will prevent the, 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 the requirements of Nigerians to move forward, are amended. I have the skills, I have the technical know-how. I will do it. And that will be the beginning. Amending the laws, amending the constitution. Because that is what will now make it possible for other things to follow. And that we intend to do holistically by the special grace of God when I get there.